Everyone, this is Ross, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I am storing my fig trees away for the winter time. Uh, you can see I've bundled up these potted plants here. We put them all against the house. We wrapped them in blankets. We insulated them in straw, all in anticipation of a 13 degree Fahrenheit low that came in Thanksgiving night. It was a nightmare. Um, I don't really know if these trees are going to make it with the damages. The wood seems to be okay, but the roots on these trees, guys, really uh, is really only hardy to about 17 degrees Fahrenheit. 13 is not, not good. Um, but right now we're taking those pots out of that corner and we're putting them in the greenhouse. We're also putting them underneath the sunroom. And a lot of my trees, guys, was already in here in preparation for that 17 degree low, or 13 degree low, I'm sorry. This little area here is really nice for keeping them pretty much above 32 because we're underneath the sunroom. We're a bit deep down here, below grade. The heat from the earth rises and gets trapped by this wood here. And it's just a really nice insulative area for my trees kind of like a uh, a burial that some people do some people will dig large holes in the ground cellars like my friend Lou if he's watching and then what we're gonna do is take the rest of the trees here that are a bit more late season and we're gonna stick them in the greenhouse and the greenhouse will be heated we'll probably talk a lot more about the heater and the requirements uh, we're also going to drape this greenhouse here over the top with a tarp we do not need the sun at this time we just want to insulate this in any way we can save a little bit of energy in this greenhouse we will but you can see how i'm stacking them this is really important larger pots on the top second largest on top of those and then even the smaller ones the five gallons that i still have go on top of those just to fit as many trees in here as humanly possible you know the more trees I can give a head start the better see the better my season will be but this year we're not doing that a hundred percent because only the late varieties will be in here and the early varieties will be underneath the sunroom and uh, as long as you guys can keep them away from 20 degrees Fahrenheit that's the goal um, there's really no other rules to this. Light doesn't matter. You want to keep them above above 20 but below 50. Those are the magic numbers. And what I'm going to do in about early March is that all of these trees that are underneath the sunroom, we're going to drag all these out. When temperatures are consistently above 20 degrees, we will put them on the patio. And because they're on the patio, they may get a more natural head start to the season they'll wake up a little bit quicker than as if I had on May 1st my last frost took them out from underneath the sunroom and placed them on the greenhouse or on the uh, on the patio I think this is a more natural way we'll talk more about that but this is really it I mean I don't understand why I get so many questions on this topic put them anywhere the temperatures are be above 20 below 50 consistently for the entirety of the winter if you don't have that then um, I suggest you makeshift something so that you can achieve that. But anyway, we got a full day's work ahead of us, so let me go and I'll see you all next time for the next video. All right, take care.